open floor is something that is happening all the time. It's happening all the time. And what I've done is just break it down for us to play with. There's five places in the room. No matter where you are in the room, you are still an active participant. There's the person whose turn it is, who chooses to come up onto the floor and take their turn. There's in support of whose turn it is. If you choose as witnesses, right now I have you sitting in the clear witness spot, you can choose to come and support somebody. There's me, that's a, a role, the facilitator, whoever takes that place to track. Clear witness, it's another place to be on the floor. And the fifth place is the window. For when you find that your attention is not primarily with what's happening, but you're triggered in some way and your attention is, is with yourself. It's a window so that when you're over here, you're still a part of the process, but you are seeing through a particular lens. The lens of whatever it is that's getting triggered for you. I find in, in all the positions on the open floor, whether I'm up there in support of someone else, whether it's my turn, so to speak, and you know, I, I'm the one that's moving from place to place and other people are supporting me, or I'm over through the window, you know, and I'm in my own reaction to what's going on, or if I'm in the clear witness that just the act of being in all those different parts, um, I, I've found that when I bring it back to my life, the picture that I get, that organic, living, moving picture, and that's what I think is what is so great about this practice is it's an organic, living, moving, and yet it's a map, so, but it's just, it's not static. Somebody supporting, there's no competition, everybody is involved. You're either the clear witness or you're, you're getting involved by having that emotion yourself and wanting to jump up and support or you're letting go and you're going, oh my gosh, I know this and I've got to go over to the window and figure out what part of this is part of my life. When you take a turn, when you come up on this floor, the meditation is, or the invitation, and or the practice, is to listen as closely as you can to yourself and see where is your awareness? What are you aware of? And to follow that in movement. You might be aware of internal stuff and sensation. You might be really aware of what's happening out here. You might be aware of me. I'm usually sitting over there at the beginning of your turn. So it might be something out here with me that, that, that you're aware of. Or you might be aware of these people over here through the window, if there are any. Often that's a very interesting place, like what's happening over there? And that you follow that, that as much as possible, you give yourself permission to follow your awareness in shape and in movement. Through our dancing and through the open floor, we are melting habitual patterns, we are melting defenses, we are going to be more sensitive. I would hope that, that we would be more sensitive. Now sometimes we don't exactly know what to do with our sensitivities because we're not used to being that sensitive. And when I finish, it's sort of it's like there's always so much going on when you're doing the open floor, there's always some kind of stuff that comes up that has to settle out. Follow that. If something comes to you, follow it and see what, see what's being expressed with this one. Mm-hmm. Certainty. It's a form for paying attention to just articulate our attention a little bit more clearly than what maybe normally we would in a group setting. It's like, you know, back of your head. It's there, everybody sees it, except you don't. And this is a real opportunity to see the back of your head. And go, oh, yeah. And there's no left, right reversal like in a mirror. It's like it's right in front of you. You're in the middle of your psyche, in the middle of your structure. Oh, the open floor is really a scary place for me to go. I feel very naked and right out there. And um, I never know what will come up on the open floor. 
and I have a lot of support, but all of that support can also feel very scary, not threatening, but scary. Um, it's sort of a nervous excitement that I feel when I'm out on the floor, but I feel safe enough to open up and allow whatever needs to come through and come out and move, mm -hmm. to move through. When we stand up, when we take a stand, when we stand up in front of others, we quite naturally feel uh, maybe nervous or anxious, or if, it, if you're really unfamiliar to it, you might just feel terrified of that experience. And fear, just fear and anxiety itself, often doesn't have words. That's one of the first things that goes when, when we're frightened, is, is the brain can't even think in terms of words. And so that fear can get stuck. But when you're, when you're trained, when you have the five rhythms as a, as a language, you can start to really work into that fear and move it and feel it and start to find the pathway through fear so that you can take a stand in your life. You can stand up in situations where it's tricky or you feel insecure or you feel terrified, but you, you don't lose your connection to your body anymore. You may lose connection to your words but you don't have to lose connection to your body and your breath and your ability to express yourself.